Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. keep the drive alive. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13 and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now a throw here to his running back, and they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And some room to run now. Touchdown, Jaguars! Well, and this is where quarterbacks' passing numbers sometimes get a little bit more inflated than they should because this is a short little pass, but it goes for big yardage. Yeah, and this just looked like a simple, ordinary play to start, but boy, did things change. Once he got free, it was off to the races, and once he hit high gear, there's absolutely no one who was going to stop him. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. Down the numbers. There he goes. 30, 10, 5. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. On second down, a run with ETN. Oh, he's got some breathing room. 
And he is finally brought down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ballgame. On first down, right back to ETN. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. And they'll go again with ETN. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And Ingram holds it in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. After the sack here, second and 11. Now Jackson. Flush to his right. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. Shoves him aside. Seven yards there at a first down. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Play action. Now Jackson. His throw incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. On third down, Jackson. He finds Robinson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And the Jags are going to take possession of the football. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Yeah, he's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Another toe for ETN. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now Lawrence to throw. Dance into his left. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. 
On first and 10, it's ETN. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. 63 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Rolling to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle, reset, and try something different. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Now Jackson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. He's got room at the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Jackson buying time to his left and oh it'll be intercepted picked off by Tyson Campbell and the Jaguars are going to take possession here it's a touchback and they'll take over at the 20 yard line Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit after they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Hey, Ozzie, Ozzie. To throw once more on second and ten. Jackson. And this 
This is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Steps away, and that is incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Give him a couple on the scramble in second down. Here's Jackson to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They go play action now. Jackson. Right side. There's Likely with it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. He'll buy some time right. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going, trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is caught. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 43 yards. Dobbins. Touchdown, Baltimore. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. you got to be careful right here. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. ETN once more. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. ETN up the middle. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Getting in there for the tackle, Marcus Williams. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Running out of the gun with ETN. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second and five now. Lawrence, he'll get this off to ETN. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 34-yard line. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. They'll throw this out wide and complete it to Ridley. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They go play action now. Lawrence. And the pass complete to Ingram on the crossing route. Touchdown, Jaguars! Evan Ingram, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jaguars have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off, and the Jags are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. And here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot, and that time it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early, and sometimes they get too soft in their coverages, but not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Second and 10 now, it's Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 10. Tried for Kirk, and he's got him on the crossing route. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. You have confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take the like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute so they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll go again with Dobbins. Trucks over it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. 
And the Jaguars are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Got it. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. And they'll start on the ground, ETN. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On second down, ETN once more. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Lawrence will throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his second touchdown of the night. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now a big play here as the Ravens are going to go for the two-point conversion. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone, and the two-point conversion will cut this down to a six-point game. A little less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Back to throw, Lawrence. This is caught, it's Kirk. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not gonna sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. 86 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. On second down, ETN once more. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Straight ahead, ETN. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. 
And that touchdown, Charles, with very little time remaining. Boy, it just sucked any energy and momentum out of the other sideline. Yeah, take an incredible comeback in the final minute to bring this one back to even. A great series there offensively. They saw an opportunity to slam the window shut, and they followed through. So the Jags will keep the offense out there as they'll decide to go for two. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. That's caught at the one. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try to prepare going forward. Jackson to throw. Forced out to his left. And this one too low. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. Again, Jackson will keep it. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. They're going for it with the option right. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking.